uh, Michael Sonenshine, the CEO of Grayscale, has suggested that the outflows of Grayscale Bitcoin Trust might stabilize after a brief period of sustained investor selling. Uh, uh, this stabilization is viewed as a point of potential equilibrium, which includes anticipated outflows, like the ones related to settlements of bankruptcy and investor switch trades that are potentially behind them. Despite facing competition from nine other issuers in the ETF market since January 2024, Grayscale has successfully managed to retain its dominance, overcoming the challenges. One prominent challenge Grayscale faces is competition from other issuers who offer Bitcoin ETFs, specifically BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust, which shows off its lower fees and has attracted substantial assets. For state competitive, Grayscale is presently considering a reduction in fee and the exploration of innovations in its product offerings. Sun and Shine also hinted at seeking approval for Bitcoin Mini Trust with lower fees. He has expressed hope for the approval of SEC for a spot Ether ETF. This indicates the commitment of the company and adapted to the market demands. And Sun Shine hopes that as the market matures, the fees for GBTC will decrease over time aligning with the industry standards. Grayscale's confidence in the regulatory environment and the broad acceptance of crypto investment vehicles is seen through its optimism regarding the SEC's approval of additional ETF products, mainly after its successful lawsuit in 2022 against the SEC. And moreover, Bitcoin's performance has grown significantly since the introduction of ETFs. This denotes an increasing investor interest and confidence in cryptocurrencies as feasible investment assets. Now, Bitcoin's rise of over 2024, 60% in 2024, speaks about a growing interest in digital assets. This further validates the need for accessible investment vehicles like ETFs in cryptocurrency.